What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today we're gonna play a ranked match. Another third ranked match video in a row, but at least I'm gonna switch it up today. I'm not gonna play Mono Energy Ranged. I'm gonna try to break up this tie I have with Nyx for number one on the ladder. So hopefully I can get a win here, and I'm going to be using Late Game Order. I have not played that on this channel very much, or at least like... Last time I actually played Late Game Order mainly in ranked was probably like eight months ago or something like that, or even more. But a lot of people play it right now because it's not too bad. And this is a modified version. I changed a little bit of like anti res Late Game Order deck. Has the Manganels, the Summons, the Speeds, so that's a big part of it. And he does like the K. He had two Ks, so took out one of them. I'm not fully buying into the K, but if he says it's really good, then I trust him. He's a very good order player. And let's just queue up, and I'll be back when a match is found. And found a match. Let's head right into it. Jan. Jan is a very good player. If you didn't see, I think he's in the top three. And I have not played, I have very little experience with temp, uh, I mean, late game order recently. So I'm not really sh that sure if this is a good starting hand. It looks good starting hand because I have a one drop, a three drop, and a four drop, and a five drop. And he's order as well. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. And I'm going to try to be like tempo order here. Because I also have another Asian to play next turn. I'll get the board advantage with late game order early on. We'll see how it goes. I think that may be important versus- I think Yan plays Tempo Order, not Late Game Order. Tempo Order versus Late Game Order feels like a fair matchup, I think. So he does not play anything in the first two turns. I'll get rid of the K early on. Not a not a big not a big supporter. And looks like I and if he's playing Tempo Order, he's at a pretty slow start. I don't remember if he mulliganed or not. But we'll see. And it's going to be nice to get the wing shield down. Although Order does have a lot of answers for wing shield, like displacement spells. It's still uh, a nice th turn three play. Wing sorceress. I don't see a lot of people play with wing sorceress. That's interesting. Um, tempo theft. I guess I'll just get rid of. That's mainly for like Arbalesters. And I could move down and engage, but I don't really see the point. I mean, but this deck isn't running Kabonks or anything. So getting you down, or Decimation, so getting you down to one health, I don't think is really a huge deal. I think it's better to take the middle of the board. It's especially good as late game order to see my opponent not really overrunning me early on. Alright, he plays Decimation there to lower my health for all my guys, which is okay, I guess. Um, pushback. I don't think I need to pushback right now, I'd rather just keep my curve. He probably doesn't realize I'm playing Lake and Mortar yet. My deck seems very tempo-y. And just because he might have another Decimation, I'm not going to line up all my guys again. Uh, I'm going to... Separate slightly. Don't want to put three guys in the same row, especially not the two AG Knights that have one health. And what's he gonna do? I have nothing really enchanted, so I don't think he's gonna be using the Wing Sorcerer's Purify effect. So yeah, he's definitely tempo order because I saw decimations, but you don't always see this this guy Wing Sorceress. But Jan must be doing something right with his deck. BSC is ranked very high. Which means I'll actually gain a decent amount of rating if I win this. But I really don't need I really need to gain almost no rating to go back into the first place. And he plays a skirmish. That guy's scary. Um I'm gonna just go up to the Vanguard. I'm gonna take out middle idol here. And what I probably should have done is I should have stayed in like the middle row with my two attacking guys. That's probably a mistake by me. I could keep you there. So you're like engaging them. And I will. I mean I don't he doesn't have she doesn't have armor two right now, which is unfortunate. 
So maybe I shouldn't have done that. We'll see. Heck, I already got Dominion on round six as late game order. I don't think you could say that every day. Like, just a Blessing of Haste focus Duke Lumberjimin would clear that row. Let's see what he does. Gallant Defender. And an Aging Knight. Alright. Sacrifice versus Partisan for Scrolls because I have, I have one more creature than him. And Arlister. Do I even play the Righteous Partisan? I don't know. Okay, you have armor too, so I don't really need to hit you at all. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, go like this. And I'm not going to play the Righteous Partisan. That might be a misplay. But whatever. I think I just want more scrolls in my hand. After that really fast... I don't really need a fast start as late game order. But since I had such a fast start, I kind of ran out of scrolls in hand. It's going to be good to get the Arbalester down next turn. Hopefully he doesn't have the right scrolls to clear this row. And it looks like he does with that Pother. Maybe I should have, shouldn't have moved down because then this guy had a chance to paw there in front. But, yeah. That's not good. That means he's going to take out at least two of these three creatures up here. Definitely he's going to take out the Vanguard at least. We'll see if he decides to take out the Wing Shield or the Aging Knight. I suspect the Wing Shield will be, will be having a fall. Hmm. So you see the double aging knight start didn't really accomplish that much other than take out the middle idol. And there's a focus. So it looks like he is valuing taking out all those guys. That's not the worst thing in the world. And I'm just going to get out an Arbalester this turn. So let's just do that. And I'll keep this stuff like that. And hopefully it doesn't have like a roast beam potion focus on a skirmisher. And next turn I can play a righteous partisan where I would draw a scroll. Hopefully I get an Imperial Resources soon. Haven't drawn any of those yet. So I have three waiting. goes for scrolls yeah I'm, I'm pretty worried about this match right now I'm not that confident I'm gonna be able to win this I don't know if I did really things that that wrong um, I mean he had a slow start and I had a fast start so I'm not really sure how he gets so ahead See what he's doing. He has a scroll advantage over me. I guess as Lakey Mortar, maybe you don't really want early t aging knights unless you're like killing other creatures. Uh, he moves up. Looks like he's not going to kill anything. He plays a Gallant Defender. I mean, those Gallant Defenders of his don't have armor 2 right now. That's good for me. Imperial Resources. Uh, do I play that right now? Do I play that right now? Um, I think I do. I need scrolls. I haven't gotten any Manganel speeds yet, so those should be coming soon. There's a speed. I could actually speed Vanguard next turn. If I sacrifice the scrolls, I could have used speed this turn, which wouldn't have been that good. So do I take this out? Yeah, I'm going to take it out. I mean, you have you have armor, anyways. If he has another Pother, then yeah, I'm gonna probably lose the Arbaluster. 
but still I should actually defend middle idle against tempo order either way. Okay, so now I have a bunch now I'm far ahead of in resources, which is good. And if if this guy can survive. I mean just a Vanguard speed next turn. Um I would have to play the speed on Arbalester to get him into attack. Because he would only go down to one. Okay, looks like he has like I don't know, how's he gonna is he gonna kill the Arbalester? I'm not sure what he's gonna do here. He hasn't sacrificed anything yet, so he must have the he must have the right scrolls in hand. I mean, a focus does not take the scout defender out, so he'd have to go like like a double focus or an eternal sword focus, or else this guy's attack would do nothing. As it stands, the scout defender just goes down to two health right now. Flip. Okay, so that's what he had. Um, do I want to keep both speeds? Uh, I don't have generals in the deck, so speeds aren't the most important thing. I think it's better that I keep at least creature could play this turn. And I shall... I'm going to infiltrate and play the vanguard and move up here. So now I have a blessing of haste for the vanguard, and I really want to start drawing some mangonels, please. It'd be nice if I drew a couple like last turn piece, then I could go this turn and do like a double mangonel. I haven't drawn any summons either, but if I think if I start playing the summons, he'll realize that I'm playing mangonels most likely. I mean, yes, summons could mean I'm just drawing waking stones or warding stones, but. Leaky Mortar summons is usually Mangonels, I think. So if I give away that, if I give away that I'm playing Mangonels, then he'll. Right now he's really not playing around Mangonels too much, so I hope he doesn't start doing that. Yeah, look how clumped up he is there for a Mangonel. Okay, he's, he went up to six resources. I don't know what he's gonna do. He could start playing creatures faster. Like, he might play two creatures this turn, two three drops, a four drop, and a two drop. He hasn't done a lot of idle damage yet, still. So that's good. Round 10, Tempo Order. He's only done six idle damage. I guess I'm happy. And there's a wing shield there. And another wing shield. Double wing shield. Okay, those guys aren't the most threatening guys. Now let's get a Mangano. Uh, Rolleros. I'm gonna keep the Reller I'm gonna get rid of the Wing Shield. Manganel. Okay, I have a summons. Which means I can do a Manganel speed this turn, which I think I should. So I can take these guys out. Um, and I can Blessing of Haste. So I can actually get 5 damage on a Manganel. But actually, this guy's not gonna be next to it. Unfortunately. Hmm, we'll see. I'm gonna draw the Manganel out of Imperial Resources for next turn. So I'm gonna go Manganel. Speed. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough resources to play Relaros this turn. So that kills all, like, Elysia 1. I wish I can get the Vanguard next to him, Blessing of Haste. But I can't. I could still get the Van. I th I'm still going to Blessing of Haste the Vanguard, though. Because that way, I'm gonna be able to take out this wing shield and deal three damage to to that. And I have an imperial resource for this coming turn. All right. Now's where I wish I had Kabox in the deck. Got to deal with these one health creatures. I might run away this coming turn. Just run up to the top, let my Manganel die. We will see. Okay, plays another Skirmisher. So I only have one more speed left in the deck, which isn't too good for me. Blessing of Haste. So it just takes out the Manganel right away. Fine. Um, I really want to Imperial Resources this turn. But just getting some more things on the board might be a better option. 
and he, he just engaged me right here so there's not really much of a point in running away yeah I'm gonna play some things on the board I'm gonna play hmm Right now, you guys deal some damage to him. <sighs> Righteous Partisan. Oh, Aging Knight. Kind of like Aging Knight. I almost want to get rid of the Relaros here. I actually am going to get rid of the Relaros here. Or no, I can't do that. Oh, yeah, whatever. I'll get rid of the Aging Knight. Ooh, I do have a Kabonk. I didn't know this deck had Kabonks. I might be stupid. <laughs> Did I not read the deck beforehand? I bet you're all like, you saw the deck in the beginning, you're all yelling at me. Do I come on this guy? I guess I had to come on the guy that's attacking me. Oh, and I, and I top deck a two drop. That was good. So. I mean, I don't want. I guess I will put you in front. I didn't know the deck had come And this is another pair of Imperial Resources. So I have those ready to go. Hopefully I draw the other Kamak in the deck. I, I assume there's two or three in the deck. It's the first one I've drawn. Man, I should really read the deck. I really looked through the deck Nancy Red sent me before playing it. I did a little bit. Like, I made a couple changes, like I said. Taking out 1k. I actually added three Vanguards. He didn't have any Vanguards. I want to put them in because I think there should be a 5-drop in the deck. Hopefully he doesn't have like a focus to take out the scout defender, but he only has two scrolls in hand. He's very low on scrolls. He still has more creatures on the board, but I think I will probably win this game. Because he just didn't do enough idle damage early on his tempo order either. And what do we have? Transposition. What does that do for me? Keep him out of a Rel Ross. I can, but I mean, these guys already have enough attack to kill anything. I mean, transposition doesn't really do much for me. I'm gonna get rid of it for for scrolls, kabonk, and a speed. Let's kabonk you. And then I'll summon, so I have a Manganel. If I need to next turn, a Manganel speed. And I'll take you guys out. And I will also play Relaros. And I'll let this guy die up top and keep these guys up at bay up top of the board. And I can Manganel speed. So next turn, I have a pretty. Pretty good things to do. I can gather Imperial Resources, I can make it all speed. Hopefully I don't have to make it all speed and I'm not really threatened. I'd like to just get my second Imperial Resources off. Because if I, once I get, get those off, then there's really not much of a chance uh, for him to come back. Okay, yeah, it looks like I'm going to be able to. Imperial Resources, I'm not in imminent danger. And he doesn't, he's not, he doesn't have a huge Manganel target for me. Arbalest is good. Let me close out of Facebook. I always accidentally keep that open when I'm recording. Okay, so Imperial Resources gives you two, and then I could kabonk something, which I guess I will to put it into Mangonel range. I guess I could kabonk this, this Ducal Skirmisher. Actually, I'll kabonk this so I can take it out. Yeah, because you're gonna get extra attack. So yeah, now you die, and this vanguard is touching all my attacking creatures. So I will have extra attack next turn. I mean, I, it was definitely justifiable to come on you, so you'd go into three health, which is enough for a Mangonel to take out. I don't know, maybe I don't even need to use a, a Mangonel speed. Just my much higher resources and scrolls than him is probably just going to be enough. Okay.
All right. He's thinking, he's thinking. He only has three scrolls, so the things he can do are not that much. I mean, you might, like, give this guy Blessing Face and play Duke Lemitriman to take out the Relaros, but still, I'd still be able to take out his stuff. And I do have a Dominion. Um, I think the only Dominion scroll in this deck is K. And her Dominion effect just gives reward. I guess it's good against Order, kind of, for flips and stuff. Okay, is he going to have that Blessing Face or something? Recipe question, okay. That was a good play for him, but there's not much he can do to stop me from winning this. So, I could Manganel speed. I could Arbalester speed transposition, and that would go off. And he just surrenders, knowing that I have so many scrolls that I'm going to be able to take out his stuff. And actually, I wouldn't have... Wouldn't have a lot, of people, a lot of times people surrender early to late game order because it takes a long time for them to win, so it could be a boring match. But it looks like I would have won pretty quickly after I cleared his board, considering I had like a lot of strong creatures on the board. So plus 13, yeah, he was kind of highly rated. And now I go up to... Well, I was already number one. I think it's going to give me sole possession of number one. There it goes. So that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you all tomorrow. It won't be a ranked match video tomorrow. It's going to be the return of top five plays of the week. See you tomorrow.